Good afternoon. So welcome to your Sunday Bikram Yoga practice. It's great to see everybody. Uh, for those of you guys, I didn't have the opportunity to meet at the desk. My name is Jessica. And I will be leading you through the class after we turn off the music. Which just came on. All right. So you want to stand up, come to the center of your mat, feet together. Looks like everyone's got a pretty good setup, but just making sure it can move left or right, make sure people behind you can see. Um, and for my beginners, uh, meaning first few classes, maybe their first month of your practice, listen carefully. Do the best you can. If it gets too uncomfortable, you sit down, take a break. Join us when you can. We start off first pranayama breathing, deep breathing, good for your lungs, your respiratory system. You inhale by your nose, exhale by the mouth, always using the throat. So nose and mouth, only the passageways. Breathe as much, as long, and as slow as possible. Feet together, toes and heels touch. Interlock your fingers and glue your hands underneath your chin. Shoulders relaxed. Look straight ahead in the mirror. Concentrate. Meditate. Begin, please. Inhale, head down, arms up. Bring your elbows up towards the ceiling, all the way up as high as possible. Exhale, head up. Slowly push your head back. Look way back. Try to see the wall behind you. Elbows come forward, away from your chest. Elbows touch. Inhale, head down. So very slowly, arms and head moving, synchronizing stomach in, chest up, full lungs. Exhale, head up. Slowly push your hands against the chin to push your head back. Look back, always eyes open so you don't get dizzy. Elbows forward, elbows together. Inhale, head down. It's so a very slow. So the slower you go, you do better learning how to use your lungs even more. Exhale, head up. Slowly push your hands against the chin to push the head back. Weight on the heels. Make sure hip muscles nice and tight. Elbows come forward, shoulders relaxed, elbows touch. Inhale, head down. So the more your lungs opening, the more air you hold in your lungs, you're improving elasticity of the lungs. Exhale, head up. Slowly push your hands against the chin to push the head back. Look back to way back. Elbows away from the chest as far as possible. Elbows together. Inhale, head down. Look forward. Stomach in. Suck it in. Tighten up. Hold it. Exhale, head up. Slowly push your hands against the chin to push your head back and look back. Make sure spine straight. So there's no backward bend, only arms and head moving. Inhale, head down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale, head up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, head down. Good. Look forward. We're going to bring feet together. It's going to bring the elbows up. That's it. All the way up. Shoulders might hurt. Exhale. Head up. Slowly push your hands against the chin. Push the head back. You exhale all the air out, all the way out. So the more you exhale here, more fresh oxygen you inhale next time. Inhale. Head down. Good. Look for the stomach and you open your chest. Open your lungs. Maximum expansion capacity. Exhale. Head up. Slowly push your hands against the chin. Push your head back. Keep the weight on your heels. Hip muscles nice and tight. Elbows forward. Elbows touch. Inhale. Head down. Look for its stomach in depression of your abdominal wall. Contraction of abdominal muscles. Exhale. Head up. Slowly push your hands against the chin to push your head back. Good. Keep your eyes open. Always eyes open. Elbows forward. Elbows together. Inhale. Head down. Using your throat as you inhale, look forward, chest up, elbows up, full lungs. Exhale, head up. Slowly push your hands against the chin to exhale all the out. So the more you exhale here, more fresh oxygen you inhale. The last breath, inhale, head down. It's good. Look in the mirror. Stomach in, full lungs. Exhale, head up. Arms relax down. You can swallow a couple times. Good news, we do everything twice. So second set. Again, second chance. Again, feet together. Toes and heels touch. Interlock your fingers. Glue your hands underneath your chin. Always this nice tight grip. Shoulders relaxed. Look straight ahead. Everybody together. Begin. Inhale. Head down. Arms up. 
Good. Bring the elbows up. It's all the way up, all the way up, full lungs. Exhale, head up. Slowly push your head back. Look back. Try to see the wall behind you. Elbows come forward away from your chest as far as possible. Elbows touch. Inhale, head down. So very slowly take your time to bring the head down. Using the six counts, arms and head moving and synchronizing. Exhale, head up. Slowly push your hands against the chin to push the head back. Weigh in the heels. Make sure hips tight. More hips, more forward. Elbows forward. Elbows touch. Inhale, head down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale, head up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, head down. Stomach in. Try to see your ribs sticking out both sides of your chest. Exhale, head up. Slowly push your hands against the chin to push your head back and look back. So way back, always eyes open so you don't get dizzy. Elbows forward, elbows together. Inhale, head down. Look forward in the mirror. So even more stomach in. Good, Shaheen. Keep the eyes up. Look forward. Elbows up. Full lungs. Exhale, head up. Slowly push your hands against the chin to push your head back. Maximum weight on your heels, hip muscles nice and tight, elbows together, inhale, head down. Again, more your lungs opening, you hold more air in your lungs, right? Improving elasticity, your lungs. Exhale, head up. Slowly push your hands against the chin to push your head back. Keeping the spine straight, no backward bend, elbows come forward, elbows together, inhale, head down, especially towards the end. Try to take in more air than you did the last time, more and more and more air. Exhale, head up. Slowly push your hands against the chin, push the head back. So look back, keep your chest up, no collapsing, elbows together, inhale, head down. Right, only arms and head moving, look in the mirror, stomach in chest up, full lungs hold it. Exhale, head up. Slowly push your hands against the chin to push your head back. Good hips more forward, hip muscles nice and tight. Spine straight, elbows touch. Inhale, head down. Using the extra strength here. Even more stomach in, suck it in. Tighten up, hold it. Exhale, head up. Slowly push your head back and look back. So way back, shoulders relaxed, elbows forward, away from your chest, elbows touch, inhale, head down, last one, using the extra strength. So look forward, elbows all the way up, full lungs, exhale, head up. And that's enough. Arms relaxed downside. From this point, mouth closed. Breathe normally in and out your nose the rest of the practice. We begin half moon pose with hands to feet pose, Ardhashandrasana with Padahastasana. Feet together, toes and heels touch. Arms over your head sideways. Bring your hands, palms together. Interlock your fingers. Release your index fingers, thumbs crossed. And keep a nice tight grip. Make sure hands, palms glued together all the way up to your wrists throughout the posture. You don't lose this grip. Stretch your body up to the ceiling right and left several times, right and left, right and left. You should feel stretching down both sides of your body all the way up to your fingertips. In other words, you're trying to touch the ceiling. When you can't stretch anymore, stop in the middle. Make sure elbows locked, arms always touch yours, no gap between biceps, arms, and ears. Push your hips forward a little bit towards the mirror, opening up your hips and pelvis. Upper body lean back a couple of inches, opening up your chest and rib cage. Throughout the posture, maximum body weight on your heels, your arms and head back, chin up. Concentrate in the mirror, one point, don't blink your eyes. Take a deep breath, full lungs, hold the breathing, stretch up out of your waist, try to touch the ceiling, slowly bend your body to the right, absolutely straight line. Without bending your elbows, without bending your knees. Continuously push your hips to the left. You go beyond your flexibility. You're trying to create tremendous stretching feeling all over the left side of your body, inside out from bones to skin, fingertips to your toes. Bring your hips more forward, upper body back more. Keep the chin up. Look in the mirror, chin up. Maximum weight in the heels. Push your left hip forward towards the mirror so you make sure your both hips are in one line. Bring your right shoulder forward towards the mirror, opening up your chest like a flower petal blooming. Come down and push and push and push. Inhale, come up, stop in the middle. 
Take a deep breath, full lungs, hold the breathing, stretch up out of your waist, try to touch the ceiling, slowly bend your body to the left. Absolutely straight line without bending your elbows, arms with your ears, without bending your knees, and continuously push your hips out to the right. So you go beyond your flexibility, right? You create tremendous stretching feeling all over the right side of the body, fingertips so there's no collapsing, constant stretching. Hips forward and upper body back, maximum weight on the heels. Push your right hip, Sabrina, forward towards the mirror. Yes, good, both hips in one line. Bring your left shoulder forward towards the mirror, opening up your chest, stretch your arms up. Yes, come down, push and push and push. Inhale, come up, stop the middle. Next to the backward bend, back's gonna hurt like hell. Don't be scared. Take a deep breath, full lungs, drop your head back as far as it goes. Look at the floor behind you. Arms back, immediately try to touch the wall behind you. Bend your spine backwards, coccyx to neck, lower back, middle back, upper back, total spine, backward bending. Push your upper body backwards. Try to fall down backwards, maximum weight in your heels. Inhale, stomach, legs, and hips. Everything push forward towards the mirror, arms back. Look back, fall back, way back, go back, more back. Inhale, come up. Stop in the middle. Padastasana, hands to feet pose. Bend your knees, put your hands on the floor in front of you. Walk your hips several times, right and left, right and left, to make sure lower back totally relaxed, nice and loose, comfortable, easy, and flexible. This is a U-turn from back bend to forward bending, so please be careful. Spine not warmed up yet. Grab your heels from behind, underneath your heels. Step on all five fingers of each hand. So your two little baby fingers touch each other side by side, feet together, elbows behind your legs on your calf muscles throughout the posture. Don't lose this grip. Pull your heels as much as possible. Stretch your body down. Lower spine towards for stomach on your thighs, chest on your knees, your face on your legs below the knees. So from the side, you look like a Japanese ham sandwich. There's no gap anywhere. Slowly push your knees back as hard as possible. Try to lock your knees. Create tremendous stretching feeling, pain sensation all over underneath your legs, inside out from bones to skin, coccyx your toes, with your smiling, happy face. Continuously keep pulling, pulling the object of stretching. Pull your heels. Push your knees back and lock your knees. Exhale, breathing, and lock your knees. Roll forward. Lock your knees. Eyes open. Touch your face to your legs. Lock is the last chance. Lock your knees. Lock your knees. Lock your knees. Inhale, breathing. Come up. Arms and head together. Arms relax down. Focus one point. Stand still here. But always mouth closed. Breathing through the nose. Breathing normal. Second set, toes and heels together, arms over your head sideways, hands, palms together. Interlock your fingers, release your fingers, cross your thumbs. This is key, glue your hands and the palms together, all the way up to the wrists throughout the posture. Don't lose this grip, elbows locked, arms with the ears, chin up. Good chin up, look in the mirror. Take a deep breath, full lungs, stretch up out of your waist, try to touch the ceiling, slowly bend your body to the right, absolutely straight line, without bending your elbows, without bending your knees. One more time, Shelly, glue the palms together, all the way to the wrist, yes, don't lose that. Continuously push your hips to the left, so you go beyond your flexibility, trying to create tremendous stretching feeling all over the left side of your body, inside out, from bones to skin, fingertips to toes, hips more forward, and upper body back, chin away from your chest. Push your left hip forward towards the mirror. See in the mirror, make sure both hips in one line. Bring your right shoulder forward towards the mirror, opening up your chest, even more right shoulder forward. Come down and push. Come down, push and push. Inhale, come up, stop in the middle. Take a deep breath, full lungs, hold it, stretch up out of your waist, try to touch the ceiling and slowly bend your body to the left. Absolutely straight line. So without bending your elbows, your knees, grip tight, elbows lock, no gap between biceps, your arms, your ears. Continuously push your hips to the right so you go beyond the flexibility. Tremendous stretch all over the right side, fingertips to the toes, could keep your eyes open, hips forward and upper body back, weight in the heels. Push your right hip forward towards the mirror, both hips in one line. Bring your left shoulder forward towards the mirror, opening up your chest like flower petal blooming, come down, push and push and push, inhale, 
come up, stop in the middle, backward bend, second set, take a deep breath, full lungs, drop your head back. As far as it goes, drop your head back, look at the floor behind you, arms back, immediately try to touch the wall behind you. Bend your spine backwards, coccyx neck, lower back, middle back, upper back, total spine, backward bending. Push your upper body backwards. Try to fall down backwards, weight in your heels, maximum weight in the heels. Inhale, stomach, legs, and hips push forward towards the mirror. It's arms back, look back, fall back, way back, go back, more back. Inhale, come up. Stop in the middle, Padastasana, hands to feet pose next. Bend your knees, put your hands on the floor. Walk your hips several times, right and left, right and left. To make sure lower back relaxed, comfortable, flexible, nice and loose. Again, you turn back, bend to forward bending, so please be careful. Spine not warmed up. The key is yet. Every step we do in this practice, every posture, also preparing us for what comes next. Grab your heels from behind. Step onto all five fingers of each hand. So two little baby fingers, they touch side by side. Good elbows, even more, behind your legs. It's on the calf muscles throughout the posture. Don't lose this grip. Pull your heels as much as possible. Stretch your body down, lower spine towards for stomach on your thighs, chest on your face, on your legs below knees from the side. There's no gap anywhere. Slowly push your knees back as hard as possible. Try to lock your knees. Create tremendous stretching feelings, pain sensation all over underneath the legs and continuously pull. Eventually, the goal to touch your forehead to your feet, you create 360 angle stretch. Pull your heels, push your knees back and lock your knees. Exhale breathing and lock your knees roll forward, lock your knees, eyes open, touch your face to your legs, lock is the last chance, lock your knees, keep pulling, lock your knees, lock your knees, inhale, come up, arms and head together, arms relax down, stand still here, awkward pose, Utkatasana, right foot step to the right, six inches apart. Heels invisible behind your toes. So you have perfect letter H, exactly six inches between your toes, your heels. You don't change your feet throughout the entire posture. Arms up parallel to the floor. Five fingers together, elbows locked, trice muscles nice tight, contraction. Nothing loose, nothing hanging. Exhale, breathing, suck your stomach in, hold it in, sit down. Feet flat position to your hips, touch the chair, spine straight to begin with. 100% body weight on your heels, lift your chest up, bend your total spine, backward bending, bring your upper body back, suck your stomach in, tie up and hold the rib cage visible in the mirror, open your knees, keep six inches between toes, heels, knees, and hands, chin up, chest up, lean back, Fall back, way back, you're trying to fall down backwards. Inhale, breathe in, come up. Keep your arms here, second part, concentrate, meditate, stand up on the top of your toes, maximum like ballerina. Tremendous concentration, focus one point in the mirror. If you move your eyes, blink, might lose the balance. Stretch your spine, chest, head, whole upper body, up towards the ceiling. Imagine I'm pulling your hair towards the ceiling. Sit down on the top of your toes. Spine straight position, start to finish. Hips and head touching the wall, sit down, halfway until your hips touch the chair. Your knees up, chest up, upper body leaning back, spine straight, come up higher on your toes, knees up towards the ceiling, hips should not go down below the chair. You are sitting on the chair. Inhale, breathing, come up. Third part, come up a little bit on your toes, bring your knees together. Stomach in, spine straight, sit down as slow as possible. At least 10 counts, all the way down, all the way down, leaning against the wall. Continuously stretch your spine up towards things. You have a half inch gap between your hips and heels. You're leaning against the wall, hips and head touching, no gap anywhere. Keep your knees together. Thighs parallel to the floor, arms parallel to your legs, spine straight, nine degree angle from the side, body looks like a box. Take a deep breath, knees together, spine straight, slowly come back up. That was a race, Raj. Feet together and arms relaxed downside. Second set, right leg step to the right, six inches apart. Again, heels behind your toes, perfect H. Arms up, parallel to the floor. 
Five fingers together, elbows locked, tricep muscles nice and tight contraction, nothing loose, nothing hanging, shoulders relaxed, you stretch fingertips forward, good, touch the mirror with fingertips. Exhale, stomach in, sit down. Feet flat position onto your hips, touch the chair, spine straight to begin with, 100% weight on your heels. Lift your chest up, bend your total spine backward, bending. bring your upper body back, suck your stomach in, hold the rib cage visible in the mirror, open your knees, six inches, keep between toes, knees, hands, heels, chin up and chest up, lean back, fall back, way back, try to fall down backwards, inhale, breathing, come up. Second part, concentrate, stand up on the top of your toes, maximum, ballerina, tremendous concentration, focus one point in the mirror, stretch your spine, chest, and whole body stretches up towards the ceiling, imagine I'm pulling your hair towards the ceiling, sit down on the top of your toes, spine straight position, start to finish, hips and head touch on the wall, sit down, it's quicker, sit down until your hips touch the chair, your knees up, chest up, coming upper body back, spine straight come up higher on the toes, knees up towards the ceiling, hips should not go down below the chair, even more Terry, sit down, yes, on the chair, inhale, breathe in, come up, that's the way, good job, that's it, right there, magic moment, third part, come up a little bit on your toes, bring your knees together, it's a good thing if we struggle, don't have to suffer though, knees together, stomach in, spine straight, sit down as slow as possible, at least 10 counts, like an elevator, you can slow it down at the end, the last six inches can take another 10 seconds all the way down leaning against the wall continuously stretch your spine up half inch gap hips and heels knees together thighs parallel to the floor arms strong parallel to your legs spine straight if you can balance here you can bounce a couple times just to make sure you have control bounce balance hold it knees together spine straight deep breath slowly come up feet together arms down don't move just relax Eagle pose, Garrasana. Look at your arms. Identify which is right and left. Don't mix them up. Arms over your head. Bring your right arm underneath your left arm. Cross your arms each other and twist like ropes. Hands, palms together in front of your face. Your thumbs towards your face. Little baby fingers towards the mirror. If you can't get the hands, the palms together, can interlace the fingers. And pull your elbows down towards four. So eventually, fingertips go below, is not but higher than the nose. Stomach in, sit down until your hips touch the chair. Upper body, leaning back, stay down here. Right leg lift up over your left leg as high as possible. Right foot underneath your left calf muscle. All five toes visible in the front mirror. Sit down more. Twist like ropes, arch your upper body back. No gap between your ankle, your calf muscle. Bring your knees to the right, upper body to the left. So you get your feet, knees, elbows, hands, everything in line. If the foot's coming out, sit down more. Loosen the balance, upper body lean back, stomach in. Sit down more, pull your elbows down, upper body back at the end. Change, come up, feet together, arms over your head. Left arm underneath your right. Cross and twist like ropes, hands, palms together in front of your face, thumbs towards your face, little baby fingers towards the mirror. So my dear, they're in the orange. Go ahead, cross back underneath the elbows. Yeah, now you try for the hands, much as you can get. That's the way. Pull the elbows down towards four. So again, eventually, fingertips below the nose. Stomach in, sit down until your hips touch the chair. Upper body leaning back, stay down here. Left leg lift up over your right leg. Highest possible. Higher you lift, create more room between your legs so you can twist even better. Sit down. And twist like ropes, arch your upper body back, no gap between your ankle, your calf also can slide the foot down, eliminating the gap, knees and feet. Bring your knees to the left, upper body to the right, feet, knees, elbows, hands in line, foot comes out, sit down, losing balance, upper body back, stomach in, sit down more, pull your elbows down, upper body back at the end. Change, come up, feet together, arms over your head, second set, right arm underneath your left. Cross and twist like ropes, hands, palms together, front of your face, thumbs towards your face, little baby fingers towards the mirror. Again, interlace if you need, get the palms together, pull your elbows down towards the floor. So Maggie, you can release the palms together, yeah. Their palms are together. Stomach in, sit down until your hips touch the chair. Upper body leaning back, stay down here. Right leg lift up over your left leg high as possible. Right foot underneath left calf muscle, five toes visible. You're opening up the 14 largest joints in your skeletal system. Scapula, deltoids, elbows, hips, wrists, knees, and ankles. Bring your knees to the right, upper body to the left. Feet, knees, elbows, hands in line. Stomach in, sit down more. Pull your elbows down more. Upper body back at the end. Change. Feet together, arms over your head. Left arm underneath your right. Cross and twist. 
Hands, palms together. Again, interlace if you need to get the palms together and pull your elbows down. So again, eventually fingertips below the nose, not higher than the nose. Stomach in, sit down until your hips touch the chair. Upper body leaning back, stay down here. Left leg lift up over your right leg, high as possible. Left foot underneath, right calf muscle. All five toes visible, front mirror. Sit down and twist like ropes. Arch your upper body back. No gap, ankle and calf, slide the foot down. So limiting the gap, knees and feet. Knees to the left, upper body to the right feet. Knees, elbows, hands in line, stomach in, sit down more. Pull your elbows down, upper body back at the end. Change, feet together, arms over your head, arms down side, and party time. Have some water if you need. First official water break, only party time. But after this, little sips between the postures as you need. A huge part of this practice, learning to take care of yourself. That's a lifelong practice. Like many things in this, it's not something we have and then we keep, it's something you have to practice, right? Life changes, we change. This practice is that foundation so we can see ourselves. Beginners, you guys doing great. So overwhelmed, you sit down if you need to, right? Too uncomfortable. Remember, a lifelong journey here. Come back to the middle of your mat. Let's begin our balancing series. Begin standing head to knee pose, Dandyamana, Janusharasana. Everyone together, shift your weight to your left leg, can wipe your hands. Interlock your fingers, pick up your right foot in front of you, three inches below the toes. Get a nice, Tight grip, don't lose the grip. Look in the mirror and start to finish. Concentrate one point on your left in the mirror to make sure your left leg absolutely locked to begin with. You don't have the knee. Your left leg is solid, concrete, lamppost, unbroken, no knee. Inhale slowly, gently, right leg lift up, stretch forward towards the mirror. Onto your leg exactly parallel to the floor, no higher, no lower, left knee locked. Take a deep breath, continuously kick your right leg heel forward towards the mirror so you can turn right foot and ankle towards your face. All five toes turning in. If your standing leg is bending, posture hasn't started yet. Kick your heel out, turn the toes in from the side, both legs lock perfect upside down L, then only bend your elbows down towards the floor. Elbows touch your calf muscle. Eventually, elbows go down below your calf muscle. Change. Shift your weight to your right leg. Wipe your hands. Interlock your fingers. Pick up your left foot. The same position. All ten fingers underneath your left foot, three inches below the toes. It's a nice and tight grip. That's it any way you can. You pick up the foot. Look forward in the mirror. Focus one point right in the mirror to make sure your right leg is locked. Your standing leg thigh muscle contracted, nice and tight. There's nothing loose, hanging. Whole kneecap lifts up, stomach in. Inhale gently, left leg lift up. Stretch forward towards the mirror onto your leg parallel to the floor. No higher, no lower. Right knee locked. Deep breath and continuously kick your left leg heel forward. So you're going to kick the mirror. Heel out, toes in. Learn to flex the foot to stretch Achilles tendon. You should feel tremendous stretch underneath your legs, creating cramp on top of both thighs. Both legs locked, bend your elbows. Elbows touch the calf muscles could keep kicking. Elbows should go down below the calf muscles. Change. Put your hands on your hips. Drop your head back to the back bending. One second. Second set. Feet together. Good. Toes and heels together. Always back to this position. Shift your weight. Wipe your hands. Interlock your fingers and pick up your right foot. All ten fingers underneath, nice and tight grip. This is it. Look forward in the mirror, building concentration, determination, patience, faith, your self-control. Look in the mirror, left knee locked, solid. Inhale gently, right leg lift up and stretch forward towards the mirror onto your leg parallel. Left knee locked, deep breath, continuously kick, right leg heel forward towards me. That's it, Julie. Keep kicking, heel out, toes in to flex the foot, both legs locked, bend your elbows down. Elbows touch the calf muscle, elbows go down below the calf muscle. Still, you can balance your smiling, happy face, bring your body down, head down, tuck your chin, look at your stomach, touch your forehead to your knee. Change. As long as standing leg is locked, 100% benefit. Again.
again, that's the journey. Shift your weight, wipe your hands, interlock your fingers, pick up your left foot, same position. All 10 fingers underneath, nice and tight grip. So don't lose it, look in the mirror. Nothing's on the floor, look forward, look in the mirror. Focus one point right knee in the mirror to make sure your right leg is locked, standing leg thigh contracted, nothing loose or hanging, kneecap lift, stomach in. Inhale gently, left leg lift up, stretch forward towards the mirror into your leg parallel to the floor, no higher, no lower, right knee lock, deep breath. Kick your left leg heel forward towards the mirror as so it keep kicking, heel out, toes in, flex the foot, both legs locked, then only elbows down. Elbows touch the calf muscle, elbows go down below the calf muscle, still balancing, smiling, happy face, slowly bring your body down. Head down, tuck your chin, look at your stomach. Stomach, touch your forehead to your knee, keep kicking. Change. Hands on your hips, drop your head. One second, backward bend. Standing bow pulling pose, dandimana, danyarasana. Everyone together, bring your right hand out, palm faces up, elbow touches your body. Say, Mama, give me money. That's beautiful. Got money in your hand. Don't turn your hand and drop your money. Bring your hand out to the right. Grab your right foot from behind, holding from the inside at your ankle. So all five fingers together. Don't lose that grip. Left arm up in front of you, chin close to your shoulder. Concentrate one point left in the mirror. Left leg locked throughout the posture. Bring your knees together to start. Take a deep breath. Charge your body forward towards the mirror. Try to touch the mirror. Simultaneously, kick your right leg back and up towards the ceiling. Bring your body down from the lower spine. Come down abdomen, chest parallel to the floor. Continuously keep kicking as hard as possible. You should see your foot come up over the top of your head in the mirror, both feet in one line from the side. Kick back, right shoulder behind your left shoulder, stretch your left fingertips, try to touch the mirror. Try to touch your shoulder to your chin. Two shoulders, one line, you're kicking, stretching, equal simultaneous 50-50 if you lose the balance, not kicking hard enough. Body down, stretch forward, kick back. Kick harder, the harder you kick can balance here forever. Body down, stretch forward, kick up one more time. Change. Left hand out, palm up, elbow touching your body, right? Got to think, you've got your money. Bring your hand to the left, don't lose it. Grab your left foot from behind. Inside at the ankle, grab at the ankle. Yeah, five fingers together, don't lose this grip. Right arm up in front of you, chin close to your shoulder, right leg locked, throughout knees together to start. Take a deep breath, charge your body forward, try to touch the mirror. Simultaneously kick your left leg back and up towards the ceiling. Bring your body down from the lower spine to so come down to abdomen, chest parallel to the floor, continuously kicking as hard as possible. See your foot over the top of your head, both feet one line, kick back left shoulder behind your right. Stretch your right fingertips, even more Maggie, fingertips stretch, yes, try to touch the mirror, try to touch shoulders, then two shoulders one line, kicking and stretching equal, body down, body down, stretch forward, kick back, the harder you kick and balance here, body down, stretch forward, kick up one more time, change. Take a deep breath. Work into cardiovascular system, heart is going up. That's normal, that's the good news. Second set, right hand out, palm up. Bring your hand to the right. Grab your right foot from behind. Inside, at your ankle, five fingers together. Don't lose this grip. Everyone together, left arm up in front of you. Chin close to your shoulder. Left leg locked throughout the posture, good in the back. Keep your chin up, look in the mirror, look forward. Look forward, take a deep breath and charge your body forward. Try to touch the mirror. Kick your right leg back and up towards the ceiling. Bring your body down from the lower spine. So come down abdomen, chest parallel to the floor. Continuously kicking as hard as possible. Put over your head in the mirror. Both feet on one line. Kick back right shoulder behind your left. Stretch left fingertips. Try to touch Christina's shoulder to chin. Shoulder to chin. Two shoulders on one line. That's it. Body down. Stretch forward. Kick back. The harder you kick and balance here. Body down. Stretch forward. Kick harder. Kick up one more time. Change. Left hand out, palm up, bring your hand out to the left, grab your left foot from behind, inside at your ankle, five fingers together. Right arm up in front of you, chin close to your shoulder, right leg locked throughout, knees together to start. Take a deep breath, charge your body forward, try to touch the mirror. Kick your left leg back and up, even more kick back. 
back and up towards the ceiling. Bring your body down from the lower spine. Come down abdomen, chest, parallel to the floor. Continuously kicking as hard as possible. Foot over your head. Both feet will line. Kick back left shoulder behind your right. Stretch your right fingertips. Try to touch your shoulder to your chin. Two shoulders line. Kicking and stretching equal. Body down. Stretch forward. Kick back. The harder you kick, you can balance here forever. Body down. Body down. Charge forward. Kick harder. Kick up one more time. Change. Take a step, come to the back of your mat. Next, balancing stick pose, Tuladasa. This posture, much shorter. So you have to make up your mind before you start, not to give up. 100% strength in a half a second. 10 second posture, if you're late, it's over. Feet together, arms over your head. Interlock your fingers, release your next fingers, thumbs cross, stretch your arms up to the ceiling, no gap between arms and head, chin up. Upper body back, couple of inches. Inhale, breathing, right leg step forward, big step. Lock both knees, arms, head together. Come down, whole body, arms, head, legs, everything parallel to the floor from the side. Your body looks like a T, no broken umbrella. Charge your body forward, touch the mirror. Lock your knee, point your toes, body down. And leg up, chest down, leg up, come down, leg up, stretch and stretch and stretch. Inhale, come up, arms and head, keep your arms here, upper body back, chin up. Inhale, breathing, left leg forward, big step, lock both knees, arms, head together. Come down, whole body prayer forward. Keep your chin forward. You should see your left foot visible in the front mirror and stretch. Scapula coming out of your body, shoulders supposed to hurt. Natalie, body down. And leg up, stretch forward, touch the mirror. Lock your knee, point the toes, stretch and stretch, stretch, stretch. Inhale, come up. Arms and head together, feet together, arms down. Don't move. Relax. Second set. Feet together, arms over your head. Interlock your fingers, release your fingers, thumbs crossed, stretch your arms up to the ceiling, no gap, arms and head, palms glued, palms glued, nice tight grip, chin up, inhale, right leg forward, big step, lock both knees, arms head together, come down, whole body prayer for every muscle contracted, natural human tug of war, chest down, and leg up, even more, right, come down, body down, leg up, stretch, lock your knee, point the toes, stretch, touch them, your stretch, and stretch, 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 inhale, come up, arms and head together. So the last one, 100% strength, half a second. Inhale, left leg, step forward, big step. Lock both knees, arms head together. Come down, whole body parallel to the floor. You've got it, Michael. Come down, chin forward, stretch forward, lock the knee. That's it, Supriya, point the toes, body down, leg up, stretch, touch the mirror, come down, stretch and stretch, stretch, stretch. Inhale, come up. Together, arms down. Take a step, come to the left side of your mat. You're gonna stagger with your neighbor, one person to the back, next neighbor to the top. Room to step across your mat. Next, Dandimana, Bipaktapada, Pashimotanasana. Standing separate leg, stretching pose. Feet together. Arms over your head sideways. Right leg step to right, big step. Four feet, arms down parallel to the floor. Heels in one line. Your feet slightly pigeon toed. Suck your stomach in, slowly bend your body down from the lower spine towards where keep your chin forward, looking forward in the mirror. Your knees locked. Grab your heels from the outside, five fingers together. As a beginner, or if you can't grab your heels yet, grab the outsides of your feet. Pull as hard as possible. Stretch your body down, lower spine towards the floor. Make sure your knees are locked throughout the posture. Even more, Michelle, knees locked. Roll four like a wheel, body weight to your toes. Try to touch your forehead to the floor. If you can't touch your forehead to the floor, you can open your legs more and more. Continuously keep pulling. Eventually, spine gonna be perfectly straight. First the legs stretching, then your hips stretching. Lower spine, whole spine, whole body stretching. Pull harder, keep pulling. Chin forward, roll forward. Touch your forehead to the floor. Inhale, gently come up. Feet together, arms down. If you easily touch your forehead to the floor, second set can take a slightly smaller step. So the goal eventually to get the forehead closer between the feet. Feet together, arms over your head. Right leg step to right, big step, four feet, arms down, parallel, four palms down. Again, make sure heels in one line, your feet slightly pigeon toed. So little my dear, bring your toes in, at least the feet straight straight yes suck your stomach in slowly bend your body down from the lower spine keep your chin forward looking forward in the mirror your knees locked grab your heels from the outside five fingers together if you can't yet grab the heels go for the outsides of your feet 
even the thumbs included, touching the index fingers, thumbs on the outside, pull as hard as possible, stretch your body down, make sure knees locked, roll forward, Grace, body weight to the toes, roll forward, roll forward, try to touch your foot to the floor, if you can't touch your foot, can open your legs more and more, continue, so keep pulling, first your legs stretching, then your hips stretching, your lower spine, your whole spine stretching, that's good, Charles, contract the thighs, yeah, legs stretching, pull, total body stretching, pull harder, that's a roll forward, chin forward, touch your forehead to the floor, inhale, gently come up, feet together, arms down side, Triangle pose, trikonasana. Arms over your head sideways. Right leg step to the right, big step. Four feet, immediately arms down, parallel four, palms face down. Look straight ahead in the mirror. Push your hips forward, upper body leaning back. Turn your right foot out to the right, all the way. Good, half an inch more. So your right foot is parallel to the mirror. Make sure two heels in one line. Inhale, bend your right knee, sit down, bounce a couple times. It's good, Supriya. You're going to need a bigger step, though. Yeah, so you can sit down, bounce, and bounce to make sure you sit down low enough. Your right thigh bicep parallel to the floor. So right leg looks like perfect upside down L. In the mirror, make sure your hips stay down here. Hips don't come up anymore. Your hips forward, arms back, spine straight in the center. Take a deep breath. Move both arms, same time. Right arm down, elbow in front of your knee. Fingertips between your big toe, second toe, but don't touch the floor. There's no pressure. Fingertips against the floor. Turn your head, look up towards the ceiling. Touch your chin to your left shoulder. Profile of your face visible from you. Take a deep breath. Right arm stretches down. Left arm stretches up. Your arm, shoulders stretch either opposite directions, natural human traction. Push your left hip down and forward towards the mirror. Use your elbow. Push the right knee back towards the back wall to get the knees in line from the side. Now upper body turn. Twist your upper body back to open your chest like spine twisting. Left leg locked. Left foot flat on the floor. Inhale, breathing. Come up. Right foot back to the center. Turn your left foot out all the way, half an inch more, left foot parallel to the mirror, make sure two heels will mine, inhale, bend your left knee, sit down, bounce, a couple times, like motorcycle ride, bounce, and bounce, and bounce, to make sure you sit down low enough, left thigh bicep, parallel four, can bring your right hip down and forward, left knee back towards the back wall, so again, OP hips forward more, hips forward, yes, good, arms back, open the chest, spine in the center, deep breath, both arms same time, left arm down, elbow in front of the knee, palm faces the mirror, touch the toes, Stretch down, touch the toes between big toe, second toe. Big toe, second toe. Yes, turn your head, look up towards the ceiling, touch your chin to the right shoulder, profile visible in the mirror, take a deep breath. Right arm stretches down, left arm stretches up. Opposite directions, natural traction. Your hips down, your body up. So you have a big gap between chest and left thigh. Push your right hip down and forward. Use the left elbow, push the left knee back. Now upper body turn, twist your upper body back. So to open your chest, creating perfect marriage, heart and lungs. Look up. You're going to touch the ceiling pretty soon. Stretch up, stretch up. Right leg locked, right foot flat on the floor. Inhale, breathe and come up. Left foot back to the center, feet together, arms down side. This is master posture of our standing series, like tuning up a car, right? We're working every muscle, every joint, every organ, and every gland. Second set, feet together, arms over your head, right leg step to right, big step. Four feet, arms down parallel. Hips forward, arms back, turn your right foot to the right, parallel to the mirror, heels in line, inhale, bend your knees, sit down, bounce. A couple times to make sure you sit down low enough. Right thigh bicep parallel to the floor. Hips forward and arms back. Good spine straight in the center. Take a deep breath. Move both arms. Right arm down, elbow in front of your knee. Fingertips between your big toe. Second toe. Turn your head, look up towards the ceiling. Touch your chin, left shoulder profile of your face visible. Take a deep breath. Right breathing normal. Right arm stretches down. Even more, Roger. Right arm stretches down. Yes, keep going. That's it. Left arm stretches up opposite directions. Push your left hip down and forward. Good, Maggie. Even more. Left hip forward towards the mirror. Use the elbow. Push the right knee back. Upper body turn. Twist your upper body back to open your chest. Left leg lock. Left foot on the floor. Inhale, breathing. Come up. Right foot back to the center. Turn your left foot out all the way. Left foot parallel to the mirror, heels in line. Inhale, bend your left knee, sit down and bounce a couple times. All right, make sure you sit down low enough. Left thigh, bicep parallel to the floor. Your hips forward and arms back, spine in the center. Take a deep breath. Hips stay down, move both arms. Left arm down, elbow in front of the knee. Good palm faces the mirror. No pressure against the knee. Stretch down. Even more, stretch down. Touch the toes. 
Good, my dear. Stretch down. Yes, touch the toes. Turn your head. Look up. Touch your chin to the right shoulder. That's it. Emo Raj, look up and stretch arms and shoulders. Stretch it to the opposite directions. Push your left hip down. Excuse me, right hip down and forward towards the mirror. Use the left elbow. Push the left knee back. Now upper body turn. Twist your upper body back to open your chest. Right leg locked. Right foot on the floor. Inhale, breathe in. Come up. Left foot back to the center. Feet together. Arms down. Stand still. Dandimana Bipaktapada Janusrasa, standing separate leg, head to knee pose, feet together, arms over your head, hands, palms together, only thumbs crossed, stretch your arms, no gap between arms and head, right leg step right, three feet, 36 inches between your feet, turn your hips to the right, turn your hips one, two, three, four, five times beyond your flexibility to get your two hips in one line from the side. Make sure your heels in one line, your back foot 45 degree angle. Exhale, breathing, and you go down. Arms and head together. Tuck your chin. Look at your stomach. Touch your forehead to your knee. If you can't touch your forehead to knee, you can bend your knee up a little bit. Bend your knee up a little bit, but you've got to touch forehead to the knee. Stretch your fingertips forward beyond your toes can push your hands against the floor to help you get your knee locked. Bring maximum weight to your front leg. So your right hip should stick up towards the ceiling. Two hips in one line. Your throat choked. Eyes open. Breathing normal. Lock your knee very quickly. A couple times. Lock your knee. Inhale. Very gently come up. Arms and head together. Come to the middle. Turn to the left. 185 degree angle to turn your hips one, two, three, four, five times. Help of the backside foot. Always back leg locked, heel on the floor. Stretch your arms up. Exhale, breathing, and you go down. Arms and head together. Tuck your chin. Look at your stomach. Touch your forehead to the knee. Again, bend your knee up if you need. You've got to touch forward to the knee or posture hasn't started yet. You're creating compression, abdomen, and throughout this posture, stimulating endocrine system, digestive system, immune system, and the metabolism. Tremendous balancing body's chemistry. Stretch your fingers forward beyond the toes. Yes, like the balancing stick, bring maximum weight to your front leg. So your left hip should stick up towards the ceiling. Two hips, one line, your throat choked. Eyes open, breathing normal. Lock your knee very quickly a couple times. Lock your knee. Inhale, gently come up. Arms and head together. Come to the middle, feet together, arms down side. Combination posture here between balancing stick, arms stretch forward, and we're also preparing for rabbit. Throat choked, curved spine, stomach sucked in. Second set, feet together, arms over your head, hands, palms together, only thumbs crossed, stretch your arms up, no gap, arms and head, right leg step right, three feet. Turn your hips to the right. Turn your hips one, two, three, four, five times to get your two hips in one line. Back heel on the floor, stretch your arms up, exhale, breathing, and you go down. Arms and head together, tuck your chin, look at your stomach, touch your forehead to knee. Stretch your fingertips forward beyond the toes. Again, can push against the floor to help you get your knee locked. Bring maximum weight to your front leg. So your right hip should stick up towards the ceiling to get your two hips in one line even more collect. Bring the weight to the right leg. Yes, throat choked. Eyes open very quickly a couple times. Lock your knee. Inhale very gently. Come up, arms and head together. Come to the middle. Turn to the left. It's 185 degree angle. Twist your hips five times more. Might need to open more. Still three feet. 36 inches between feet. Stretch your arms up. Exhale and go down. Arms and head together. Tuck your chin. So look at your stomach and touch your forehead to the knee. Again, bend the knee up if you need, right? You've got to touch forehead to knee. Stretch your fingertips beyond the toes. Use the fingertips. Yes, can push against the floor. Help get the knee lock. Maximum weight to your front leg. Left hip should stick up towards the ceiling. Two hips in one line. Nice, Terry. Keep going. Throat choked. Eyes open, breathing normal. Lock your knee very quickly a couple of times. Lock your knee. Inhale, gently come up. Arms and head together. Come to the middle. Feet together. Arms relax downside. Take a step. Come back to the middle of your mat. Same place where you started. Toes and heels together, one line, feet together. Look in the mirror. One point of focus. Tree pose, Tadasana. Grab your right foot from underneath. Help of your left hand. Lift your right leg up all the way until your heel touches the costume, the sole of your foot facing, being careful of your right knee. 
slowly, gently, right knee down. Push your hips forward towards the mirror, gently right knee back. So you're trying to get your two knees in line from the side to open hips and pelvis like triangle. Stretch your spine up towards the ceiling, suck your stomach in. Two hips in one line, two shoulders in line. Slowly right hand up to the center of your chest. You can balance here without moving. Left hand up, the foot slips, hold the foot. Make sure left leg lock, thigh contracted. Spine straight, stomach in, focus one point, stay here. Breathing normal. Change. Feet together. Help of your right hand, grab your left foot, lift your left leg up. All the way up. All the way. Heel touches the costume. It's the sole of your foot facing. Being careful the left knee. Slowly, gently left knee down. Push your hips more forward. Gently left knee back towards the back wall. Upper body back. Couple of inches. Stretch your spine up. Stomach in. Two hips. Two shoulders. Good. Roger. Check your shoulders. One line. Slowly left hand up center of your chest. You balance here. Then the right. Hands, palms together. Focus one point. Right leg locked. Thigh contracted. Spine straight. Stomach in. Breathing normal. And stay here change left leg down arms down awesome focus seconds next is toe stand panangustasa this time you focus one point on the floor four feet in front of you bring your right leg up middle of your thigh wherever is comfortable hands palms together front of your chest so focus one point stomach in slowly bend forward lower spine towards the floor touch your both hands ten fingers on the floor slowly bend your knee bring your hips down sit down on your heel Walk your hands to either side of your hips. Stretch your spine up. Hips up, balancing on fingertips. Keep focusing one employee on the floor, four feet in front of you. Both knees should be in line parallel to the floor. Slowly left hand up, center of your chest. If you can balance here without moving, right hand up, palms together, and continuously stretch. Eventually, natural human traction, you stretch off your heel change put your hands on the floor slowly carefully come back up always opposite of the way you went down right leg down arms down other side focus one point on the floor four feet in front of you don't change your eyes this is the focus don't even blink your eyes bring your left leg up middle of your thigh wherever feels comfortable hands palms together front of your chest bend your body forward lower spine towards the floor touch both hands ten fingers on the floor Slowly bend your knee, bring your hips down, sit down on your heel. Walk your hands to either side of your hips, stretch your spine up. If we collapse, we fall left to right like a flat tire, stretch. Hips up, balancing fingertips, slowly left hand up, center of your chest. You balance here without moving, right hand up, palms together and continuously stretch. Eventually, natural human traction, you stretch half inch off your heel. Change, put your hands on the floor slowly, carefully, come back up, opposite way. Change, left leg down, arms down, standing series, warm up done. Turn around, lie down on your back. Relax on your back for Savasana. For my newer students, after this point, if you need to rest, come back to this position, Savasana. Heels together, heels together, feet fall open, arms on the towel, palms face up. Keep your head straight, eyes always open, and always breathing normal. Purposes of our practice, normal breathing meaning two things. One. Mouth closed, tongue inside, breathing in and out through your nose. And two, don't stop breathing. Shouldn't have to think too hard about breathing. Completely still, completely relax.
Wind removing pose, Pavana Muktasana. Everybody together, right leg lift up, hold your right leg two inches below your knee. Interlocked fingers, nice and tight grip. Pull your right knee down all the way towards your right shoulder, avoiding your rib cage completely. Left leg is straight, calf muscle touch sore. If it doesn't touch, can flex your left foot. Your chin down, neck flat, no gap underneath your neck. Elbows in close to your body, shoulders touch the floor and pull. Good, pull down a little extra hard, freeze here, you don't move. Make sure hip joint hurts, maximum pressure, lower abdomen. Change, right leg down, arms down, left leg lift up. Grab your left leg two inches below your knee. It's interlocked fingers. So my dear, in the fourth row, interlock your fingers. This is hand strengthening. Interlocked. Interlocked, you had it the other way. Yeah, that's it. Next to her, just interlock the fingers, pull the left knee down all the way towards your left shoulder. Right leg is straight, calf falls on the floor, your chin down, neck flat. Elbows in, shoulders down. Shoulders on the floor. A little more, Jerry, relax your shoulders. That's it, good. Pull down a little extra hard, freeze here. Hip joint hurts, maximum pressure, lower abdomen. Change, left leg down, arms down. Immediately, both legs lift up. Grab your elbows, each other over your legs. A couple of inches below your knees. Whatever is possible, you have nice and tight, compact grip. Feet side by side, feet relaxed position. Your chin down, neck flat, shoulders relaxed, eyes open. Breathing normal, stay here. Eventually in the future, as your skeletal system, bone joints improve enough, then only total spine is going to be flat on the floor. Change, legs down, arms down, relax, savasana. Second set, right leg lift up, hold your right leg two inches below your knee, interlocked fingers, nice tight grip, pull your right knee down all the way down towards your right shoulder. So a beginner can bring your knee out around and down, avoiding the rib cage. Left leg is straight, calf muscle on the floor, your chin down, neck flat, elbows in close to your body, shoulders down. Shoulders down on the floor, pull a little extra hard, freeze here, right leg massage in ascending colon, maximum pressure, lower abdomen. Change, right leg down, arms down, left leg lift up, grab your left leg two inches below your knee, interlocked fingers, nice and tight grip, pull your left knee all the way down towards your left shoulder, all the way down, all the way down, keep pulling, all the way down, avoiding the rib cage, right leg is straight, calf muscle for your chin down, neck flat, no gap underneath your neck, elbows in close to your body, shoulders on the floor, Dan, relax, right shoulder. Yes, good, pull down a little extra hard and freeze here. Maximum pressure, lower abdomen. Change, left leg down, arms down immediately. Both legs lift up. Grab your elbows over your legs. A couple of inches below your knees. Whatever is possible, nice and tight, compact grip. Feet side by side, feet relaxed position. Your chin down, neck flat, shoulders relaxed. Shoulders relaxed, eyes open, breathing once, stay here, massaging the transverse colon, eventually hips down more, shoulders down, total spine flat on the floor. Change, legs down, arms down, relax, savasana. Or sit up, toes and heels together, flex your feet, heels stay on the floor, arms over your head, cross your thumbs, arms and head together, inhale, breathe in, quickly sit up, exhale, grab your big toes, double jerk, head to the knees, elbows touch the floor. Turn around, lie on your stomach, spine strengthening series, first cobra, bhujangasana, get your chin on the floor. Hands underneath your shoulders, very close to your chest. Make sure five fingers together. Hands, palms flat on the floor. Fingertips in line with the tops of your shoulders. Baby fingers in line with your deltoids. Glue it down. Body weight distributed all over your hands, palms, equal same. You don't move your hands. From start to finish, legs and feet together. Feet flat on the floor. Hip muscles nice and tight. Leg muscles solid concrete. So you have one leg like cobra tail. Don't open it. Elbows in. Close to your body, elbows in, shoulders down. Inhale, look up towards the ceiling, come up please. Lift your upper body up, using 100% back strength. So come up halfway only, belly button touches the floor, 
the rest of your upper body is in the air at the same time from the side. Elbows should be like L, 90 degree angle, like rectangle. Stretch your elbows down towards the floor. Arms and elbows always touch your body to drop your shoulders down. Trapezius muscles visible in the femur. Come up a couple of inches. Back supposed to hurt. Shoulders down. Chest up. Come up. Hold it here. Freeze. Change. Gently lower down. Left ear to the top. Face to the right. Arms down by your side. Palms up. Heels fall open. Sit arms down. Heels open, relax, Savasana. Second set, chin on the floor, hands underneath your shoulders. Good, five fingers together. Fingers together, palms flat, square under your shoulders, not turned in, out, not too far up or down. Start to finish, legs and feet together, feet flat on the floor, hip and leg muscles tight, solid, so you have the one leg, res up, point the toes, the top of the feet flat. Yeah, legs together, elbows in close to your body, shoulders down, inhale, look up towards the ceiling and come up please. So lift your upper body up using 100% back strength. So you come up halfway only, your belly button touches the floor, come down, belly button on the floor, upper body in the air from the side. Elbows look like L. Stretch your elbows down towards the floor. Good. Elbows in. Arms and elbows touch your body. Even more, Julia, to drop shoulders down. Yes. Trapezius muscles visible. Chest up. Come up a couple of inches. Back supposed to hurt. Hold it here. Change. Gently lower down. Second set. Face the left. Right ear down. Arms down. Heels open and relax. Savasana. Tremendous posture working compression in the lower spine. Good. If you have low back pain, herniated discs, slipped discs, kidney issues, blood pressure issues, by creating tremendous compression, and now Savasana, you relax, release. Improving the circulation, right? Therapeutic practice. Locust pose, Salavasana, arms straight position. Get your arms underneath your body, hands, palms face the floor. Elbows completely underneath your stomach, invisible. Elbows supposed to hurt. Two baby fingers touch side by side. You open your fingers, can grab the floor with fingertips, chin on the floor. Left leg relaxed, right leg solid, concrete pointed toes. Inhale slowly, gently, right leg lift up from the floor. Minimum 40, fat angle, half of 90. Go much more higher. Everybody leg up more, lift up more. Lock your knee, point your toes. Point your toes more up. Chain slowly lower down. Right leg relaxed, left leg solid. Inhale gently, left leg lift up from the floor. It's a minimum 45 degree angle. Make sure your foot behind your head in the mirror so your hip doesn't twist out of the line. Lock your knee, point the toes, lift up. Chain slowly lower down. Third part, turn your head in, mouth on your towel. Readjust your hands closer together, fingers completely apart so you can grab the floor. Third part, keep your mouth on the towel. You don't lift or turn your head. Take a deep breath, full lungs without bending your knees. Both legs lift up. Go up and come up, come up, even a couple of inches. Lock your knees, feet together, struggle a little harder here. Don't give up, legs up, lift up, come up more. Chain slowly lower down. Head to the side, face the right. Arms by your side, palms face up, let your heels fall open. So bring your arms out from underneath the body, and so palms up, heels open, and completely you relax. Second set, arms straight position, get your arms underneath your body, hands, palms face the floor, elbows completely underneath your stomach, invisible. Two baby fingers touch side by side to open your fingers. So you can use hand strength against the floor, chin on the floor. Left leg relaxed, right leg solid, point your toes gently, right leg lift up from the floor. Minimum 45 Durango, half of 90, make sure back hurts, elbows hurt, lock your knee, lock your knee. Lock your knee, point the toes more up, chain slowly down, right leg relax, left leg solid, inhale gently, left leg lift up from the floor. It's a minimum 45 degree angle, half of 90. Lock the knee and point the toes, foot over the head, hip doesn't twist out of the line, lift up, chain slowly down. Third part, head in, mouth down. Readjust your hands closer, fingers completely apart. Grab the floor, fingers, keep your mouth on the towel, take a deep breath without bending your knees, both legs lift up. Go up, come up, everybody come up. 
Come up, even a couple of inches. Lock your knees. Good. Now feet together. Struggle harder. Use your hand strength against the floor. Shoulders should touch the floor. Lift up. Come up more. Change. Slowly lower down. Head to the side. Face the left. Arms down by your side. Heels open. Relax completely. been targeting lower spine cobra, locust upper spine, neck, shoulders, whole area. Now working into the middle spine, full locust, porna salavasana, arms out to your side like airplane wings, palms down, fingers together, chin on the floor. Even more, bring your arms up, arms all the way up to the side. Yeah, nice big airplane wings. That's it, chin on the floor, legs, feet together, hip and leg muscles tight, solid. So like cobra, you have one leg. Take a deep breath, look up, lift. Arms, body, head, legs, everything lifts. 747, everybody look up, chest up, arms up, arms back, fingertips, same level as the top of your head, only hip bones touch the floor, rest of the body in the air, chest up, chest up, chest up, more up, go up, exhale, come up one more time, slowly lower down, head to the side, face the right, arms down, heels open, completely relax. So before the class, Christina was asking a good question, which was how to help in standing bow to lift her chest more, how to open more. Now the answer, as with many things in life, completely different posture, something different because they're all connected. So full locust, opening the chest, our next posture bow, opening like in standing bow. So the next time she practices, that opens more. Again, right, everything in this sequence connected to prepare you for what comes, to prepare you for when you practice tomorrow. That means, the good news for us, a little bit makes a huge difference. Second set, arms out to your side, airplane wings. Palms down, fingers together, chin on the floor. Legs and feet together, hip and leg muscles tight, solid. One leg like the cobra. Take a deep breath, look up and lift up. Arms, body, head, legs, everything lifts. Everything lifts. 747, take off. Everybody look up, chest up. So arms up, arms back, hip bones on the floor, body in there, and chest up. Good. Chest up, chest up, more up, go up, exhale, come up, slowly lower down. Head to the side, face the left, arms down, heels open, and relax. Knee loop far, just head the other way. Head face the right. There we go. Thank you. Bow pose, Danyarasana, chin on the floor. Hold your feet from the outside just below your toes. Five fingers together, thumbs touch index fingers. Keep six inches between your knees, six inches between your feet. Your wrists straight, toes pointed, arms and legs, two wheels, one base. Inhale, breathing gently, both legs kick up towards the ceiling. Look up and kick back. Continuously keep kicking, you don't stop kicking. Roll forward until your toes in the center from the side. Keep your knees in. Toes pointed, wrist straight, even more. Kick your legs behind you, head up, look up, kick back, kick harder, slowly lower down. Head to the side, face right, arms down, palms up, toes touch, heels open, and relax. So completely relax. Shaheen, feet side by side. Yeah, maximum circulation, relaxation. Just relax. That's good, Reza. Be patient with yourself, right? Start of a lifetime here. Talk about three foundations to our practice. Consistency, frequency, and intensity. So meaning, frequency, how often you come as a beginner. That's the number one. Consistency, right? How well you follow the spirit of the postures, the instructions step by step, that recipe. And intensity, how hard you work. You build those three pillars, maximum your practice, maximum benefit for you. 
Second set the bow, chin on the floor. Hold your feet from the outside, just below your toes. Five fingers together, thumbs with index fingers. So instead of grabbing at the ankles, grab just below the toes. Six inches between your knees and six inches feet. Wrists are straight, toes pointed. Take a deep breath, look up and gently both legs kick. Look up and kick up. Continuously keep kicking, don't stop kicking. Roll forward. Roll forward until your toes in the center from the side. Good, Colette, knees in. Yes, toes pointed, wrist straight, kick your legs behind you. Head up even more, Sabrina, that's a look up. Kick back, kick harder, slowly lower down. Head to the side, face left, arms down, heels open, relax, Savasana. Come to the top of your mat. Fixed firm pose, Shupra Vajrasana. Sit down Japanese style, kneel down position, your knees, feet together. Then separate your feet. You sit down between your heels. So your hips touch the floor, heels always touch your hips. As a beginner, if your knees or your feet hurt, open your knees. Wide as you need to, if you need to. Good, always still, heels touch the hips. Yeah, that's the way. Put your hands on your toes, thumbs inside, fingers outside, touch your right elbow to the floor, then left, one by one, touch your head, back of your head, shoulders, eventually, whole upper body relaxed on the floor. Arms over your head, grab your elbows, pull your elbows down towards the floor, your chin tucked, back of the neck, flat on the floor, lift your chest, your stomach up, twisting, you create perfect human bridge. Eventually, in the future, can bring knees together to touch, make sure knees never come off the floor. Your eyes open. Always breathing normal. Inhale, put your hands on your feet. With the help of your elbows, carefully come up. So one by one. Turn around. Lie down on your back. Relax, Savasana. Toes and heels together, flex your feet, heels on the floor, arms over your head, cross your thumbs, arms head together, inhale, quickly sit up, exhale, grab your big toes, double jerk, head to the knees, elbows touch the floor. Turn around, come to the top of your mat, second set, fixed firm, Shupta Vajrasana, sit down, Japanese style, kneel down, knees, feet together, then separate your feet. Sit down between your heels, hips touch the floor, always heels touch your hips, again, knees or feet hurt, you open your knees, wide as you need, hands on your toes, thumbs and fingers out, touch your right elbow, then left elbow for one by one, head, back of your head, shoulders eventually, whole upper body relaxed on the floor, arms over your head, grab your elbows, pull. Pull your elbows down towards for your chin tucked back of the neck flat. Lift your chest, your stomach up, twisting. Eventually you can bring knees together to touch. Knees never off the floor. Always eyes open wherever you're at, breathing normal. Inhale, put your hands on your feet with the help of your elbows. Carefully come up one by one. Pretty cool, Supriya. Few weeks already. Holding much longer. Good for you. Turn around, lie down, and relax on your back. like to share a little confession about that posture. I've been practicing 11 years, and for the first two or three years, I hated that posture. <laughs> Struggled with that posture. After years of sports, for me, my ankle's very tight. Hard to get even to into the first stage, the first step of that posture. But here's what happened. 11 years of practicing, it's one of my favorite postures now. You know I'm a yoga teacher, because I go home and I like to practice it anyways. <laughs> Hold it for a long time, right? All of this, our relationship to the postures, the therapeutic benefit we get from them, our experience of them, it changes. That's why, beautiful that this practice is so consistent, because it allows us to transform. Toes and heels together, flex your feet, heels on the floor, arms over your head, cross your thumbs, arms head together, inhale, quickly sit up, exhale, grab your big toes, double jerk, head to the knees, elbows, touch the floor, turn around, come to the middle of your towel, half tortoise, arm across, 
Krama Asana. Sit down, knees and feet together. Feet flat, no gap under your ankles. Arms over your head sideways, hands, palms together, thumbs crossed. Hips touch the heels throughout the posture. Stretch your arms up, chin up. Exhale, breathing, you go down, arms and head together. Touch your forehead to the floor, baby fingers touching the floor. The rest of your arms in the air, your elbows locked. Stretch your arms more forward. Shoulder blades, scapula come out of body. This posture sends high-speed blood cells to your brain, helps to re-energize, revise, and reorganize unused and the overused of brain cells. Hips on the heels, chin away from the chest, eyes open, breathing almost stretch and stretch. Inhale, come up, arms and head together. Arms down side. Turn around, lie down, relax on your back, Savasana. Toes and heels together, flex your feet, arms over your head, cross your thumbs, arms head together, inhale, quickly sit up, exhale, grab your big toes, double your head to the knees, elbows touch the floor, turn around, come to the middle of your towel for a second set of half tortoise. Sit down, knees and feet together, feet flat, arms over your head sideways, palms together, only thumbs crossed, hips on the heels, stretch your arms up, exhale, breathing, you go down, arms and head together, touch your forehead to the floor, baby fingers touching the floor, the rest of your arms in the air. Dante, elbows locked. Yes, stretch more forward, shoulder blades, scapula coming out of the body again, posture sending high speed blood cells to your brain, hips on the heels, eyes open, breathe almost stretch and stretch and stretch. Inhale, come up, arms and head together. Arms down side, turn around, lie down, relax, Savasana. Toes and heels together, flex your feet, arms over your head, cross your thumbs, arms head together, inhale, quickly sit up, exhale, grab your big toes, double jerk, head to the knees, elbows touch the floor, turn around, come to the top of your mat, camel pose, ustrasana, we do this one together, so not before, after, listening very carefully, word by word, stand up on your knees, open your legs, six inches apart in side legs between knees and feet, put your hands on your hips, fingers towards the floor, thumbs outside, take a deep breath, push your hips forward, drop your head back. As far as it goes, go back, halfway only, stop in the middle. First only, right hand down, grab your right heel, thumbs outside, fingers inside, left hand down, grab your left heel, full grip with your hands, palms, don't lose the grip. Take a deep breath, exhale, stomach, legs, hips, everything push forward towards the mirror. Everybody push, push more, everybody push harder, continuously keep pushing, make sure back hurts, total spine, backward bending for gravitation. Inhale, hands on your hips, chest up, push forward, come up, spine straight, stop in the middle, turn around, lie down, relax on your back. Toes and heels together, flex your feet, arms of your head, cross your thumbs, arms head together, inhale, quickly sit up, exhale, grab your big toes, double jerk, head to the knees, elbows touch the floor. Turn around, come to the top of your mat for a second set of camel pose. We do this together, listen carefully, stand on the knees, this time can be eight inches between knees, always six inches between feet. Put your hands on your hips, fingers towards floor, not before or after, listen carefully, take a deep breath, push your hips forward, drop your head back. As far as it goes, drop your head back, now go back halfway. Halfway only, stop in the middle. First right hand down, right heel, thumbs out, fingers in. Left hand, left heel, full grip, hands, palms, don't lose the grip. 
Take a deep breath. Exhale, stomach, legs, hips, everything push forward towards the mirror. Everybody push. It's a push more, push hard. Continue to so keep pushing. Make sure back hurts, total spine back. Even more, Donna, keep the grip. Nice grip. Good pull. Yeah, that's a good push more. Push forward. Inhale, hands on your hips. Chest up, push forward. Come up, spine straight. Stop in the middle. Turn around, lie down, and relax on your back. Do you miss that one, Charles? Feels good to do it again, right? Sometimes the difficult postures, it's not that I enjoy doing the posture, but that I know from experience that afterwards I feel much better. We all have those postures. Again, it is the therapeutic benefit from doing the posture. It's why we do the posture. It's why we do this practice, right? Bikram yoga, the purpose is not to improve your Bikram yoga practice, your Bikram yoga postures. Purpose is to improve quality of your life. Toes and heels together. Flex your feet, heels on the floor. Arms of your head, cross your thumbs. Arms head together. Inhale, sit up. Exhale, grab your big toes. Double jerk head to the knees, elbows to the floor. Turn around and come to the middle of your towel. Rabbit pose, sasangasana. Sit down, knees and feet together. Feet flat on the floor. No gap underneath your ankles. Put your towel over your feet. Grab your heels over your towel. Thumbs outside, fingers side. Full grip with your hands, palms. Don't lose the grip. Tuck your chin towards your chest. Exhale, slowly go down front side. Touch your forehead to your knees. Automatically, top of your head touches the floor. Exhale, lift your hips up all the way up as high as possible. Roll forward like a wheel until your arms, elbows straight. If there's a gap between your knees, your forehead, walk your knees up one by one until your knees touch your forehead. Make sure total spine stretching top to bottom, throat choked. Eyes open, draw, pull harder. Continuously pulling heels together, feet flat, pull harder, hips up more. Inhale, gently come up. Turn around, lie down, relax on your back, Savasana. Toes and heels together, flex your feet, arms over your head, cross your thumbs, arms head together, inhale, sit up, exhale, grab your big toes, double jerk, head to the knees, elbows touch the floor, turn around, come to the middle of your towel for a second set of rabbit. Sit down, knees and feet together, feet flat. Put your towel over your feet. Grab your heels over the towel, thumbs out, fingers in. Again, start to finish full grip on the heels with the towel. Pull your heels, tuck your chin in. Exhale, slowly go down front side, forward to knees. Top of your head automatically touches the floor. Exhale, breathing, eyes open. Lift your hips up all the way up as high as possible. Roll forward like a wheel until your arms, elbows stay. If there's a gap, knees and forward. Walk your knees up till knees touch the forward. Total spine stretching from top to the bottom. A little more machine. Shell weight in the heels, less in the head. Keep the feet flat. Pull harder. Go to pull harder. Hips up more. Inhale, gently come up. Turn around, lie down, and relax on your back. Toes and heels together, flex your feet, arms over your head, cross your thumbs, inhale, breathe in quickly, sit up, exhale, grab your big toes, double your head to the knees, elbows touch the floor, turn, face the front mirror, head to knee pose with stretching pose, Janusrasana with Paschimottanasana. Bring your right leg out cornerwise, bend your left leg in, put your left foot, so your heel touches your costume, you create pressure against right leg, bicep of the thigh muscle, two legs should look like L, you've got 90 degree angle. Arms over your head. Turn to the right, grab your right foot in front of you, two inches below your toes, pull your toes, flex your foot, heel off the floor, and then, like rabbit, tuck your chin, look at your stomach, touch your forehead to your knee. If you can't touch forehead to knee, you can bend your knee up. You've got to touch forehead to the knee. Bend your elbows down next to calf muscles, roll inside to the left, left elbow, shoulder down, left knee on the floor. Get your head in even closer with your stomach, forehead even higher on your knee. Push your knee down, forehead touching position. Inhale, breathe in, come up. Arms and head together, left leg out cornerwise, right leg in. Again, pressure against left inner thighs, two legs should look like L. Arms over the head, turn to the left, grab your left foot. Pull your toes, 
Flex your foot, heel in the air, tuck your chin, look at your stomach, touch forward to knee. Bend your elbows down, bend your elbows, Raj, down next to the calf muscles. Roll inside to the right, right elbow down, shoulder down. Keep your right knee on the floor. Get your head in, even closer with your stomach. Go for it, Priya, even higher on your knee. Yes, very nice. Push your knee down forward, touching position. Inhale, breathe in, come up. Arms and head together, legs out front, lie on your back. Right away, inhale, breathe in, quickly sit up. Grab your big toes from the top, so use your index, your middle fingers to grab your big toes. Pull your big toes, walk your hips back right and left, right, left, right, and left. 10 to 15 times to make sure both knees locked. Keep your heels together. Everybody head up, please. Chin up. Start to finish, look in the mirror. Inhale, stretch your body forward from the lower spine. Pull your toes back as hard as possible. Flex your feet. Heels come off the floor. Then only can bend your elbows down next to the couch. Keep your chin up. Look forward, chin up, Shaheen, chin up, look forward, exhale, pull, stretch, your goal, forehead to the feet, exhale, pull, stretch, and stretch, change, turn around, lie down on your back, relax. You okay, Shelly? Okay. Toes and heels together, flex your feet, arms of your head, cross your thumbs, arms head together, inhale, sit up. Exhale, grab your big toes, double jerk, head to the knees, elbows touch the floor. Turn, face the front mirror for second set. Head to knee pose with stretching pose. Right leg out, left leg in, pressure against the thigh. Make sure, like L, arms over your head, turn to the right, grab your right foot. Pull your toes, flex your foot, heel off the floor, tuck your chin, touch your forehead to the knee. So bend your knee if you need. You've got to touch the forehead to the knee, compression, abdomen, and throat. Bend your elbows down next to the calf muscles. Roll inside to the left. A little more left shoulder down. Left knee on the floor. Get your head in closer forward on the knee. Push your knee down forward, touching position. Inhale, come up. Arms and head together. Left leg out cornerwise. Right leg in. Pressure against left leg bicep of the thigh. Arms over your head. Turn left. Grab your left foot. Pull your toes Flex your foot, heel off the floor, tuck your chin, look at your stomach, touch your forehead to the knee, bend your elbows down next to the calf muscles, even more lower and roll into the right, a little more right shoulder down, roll in, right knee stays on the floor, that's it, get your head in close with your stomach, forward higher on the knee, using your forehead, push your knee down, inhale, come up, arms and together, that was awesome, Natalie, legs out front, lie on your back, inhale, breathing, quickly sit up. Exhale, breathe and grab your big toes to the top. So again, the index, the middle fingers, two fingers, grab your big toes, pull your toes, walk your hips back, right, left, 10 to 15 times to get the knees locked. Start to finish, keep your heels together, head up, look forward, inhale, stretch your body forward from the lower spine. So you pull your toes back as hard as possible, pull. Flex your feet, heels off the floor, bend your elbows down next to the calf muscle. Keep your chin up, chin up. Look forward in the mirror and continuously keep pulling. Right, the go forward to the feet, exhale, pull, stretch, Pull, stretch, and stretch. Change. Turn around. Lie down. Relax on your back. Savasana. Toes and heels together, flex your feet, arms over your head, cross your thumbs, arms head together, inhale, quickly sit up, exhale, grab your big toes, double jerk, head to the knees, elbows touch the floor, turn, face the left side of the room for spine twisting pose, Ardha Matsandrasana, bend your left leg, left knee on the floor, bring your right leg over left knee corner, heel, H-E-L, heel touches your knee, foot flat on the floor, make sure both of your hips touch the floor, so keep your spine straight, point your left toes, bring your left arm up over your knee, Push your knee back, help the elbow, then turn your wrist, reach down. Can look down. So you make sure your knee, hand, and heel touching. Same spot on the floor. Stretch your spine up towards the ceiling. Bring your right arm up behind you, palm facing out. Try to grab the thigh behind you with your fingers. Everybody chest up, shoulders back, rib cage open. Look back behind you, way, way, way back. Chin over your right shoulder, twisting your body right side all the way, total spine twisting top to the bottom. Keep the chin up, look back, exhale, turn, twist, and twist, last chance, twist, change. Bend your right leg, right knee on the floor, left leg over right knee corner, heel touches your knee. Good, keep your left foot, left foot flat to the floor. Left foot flat, bring your right arm up over 
your left knee, push your knee back, help the elbow, then turn your wrist, reach down, look down so you make sure the knee, hand, and the heel touching same spot. Stretch your spine up towards the ceiling, bring your left arm up behind you, palm face out, try to grab the thigh. As a beginner, can keep your hand against the floor, push to keep the spine straight, your chest up, shoulders back, rib cage open, and look back behind you. Chin over your left shoulder, twist your right left side all the way, coccyx neck, joints of each and every cartilage and vertebrae twisting like the pearl necklace. Look back, exhale, turn, twist, and twist the last chance, twist, change, lie down, relax on your back, Savasana. Toes and heels together, flex your feet, heels stay on the floor, arms over your head, cross your thumbs, arms head together, inhale, sit up, exhale, grab your big toes, double jerk, head to the knees, elbows touch the floor, turn, face the front mirror, everyone together, final breathing, copper body, madrasana, very good internal organs, digestive system, abdominal muscles, you sit down Japanese style, kneel down position, you blow out by your mouth, very strong, you pull your stomach in out, there's no inhale, only the exhale, inhale happens automatically, hands on your knees, elbows locked, Shoulders relax, stomach relax. Look straight ahead in the mirror. 60 counts. Together, begin. Swallow a couple times, seconds a little faster, a little stronger. If you get dizzy, cramps in your stomach, doing great. Hands on the knees, chest up, look straight ahead. Begin. Congratulations, you guys. Turn around, lie down, and relax. Final posture, final savasana. This allows your body to cool down, stop sweating, absorb. 90-minute meditation to prepare here for relaxation. For my part, thank you guys for coming this afternoon. My privilege, my pleasure to lead you through your practice. If you have any questions, again, my name is Jessica. I'll be up at the front desk. Otherwise, have a wonderful night. We'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.